All right, um, welcome everybody to the You Talk quiz, the quiz that will get you talking. Uh, we are going to have a fun quiz today, that's what you've come for. Um, and we're going to, yeah, journey through about 30 different languages over the next 30 minutes as part of this quiz. So it's so great to have you on board and um, more and more people are coming through now. We've got 54 people already and um, getting excited for, for our quiz this afternoon to, to find out some new things about different languages and um, test uh, your language knowledge, your language trivia knowledge, and um, maybe even pick up a few new words. So yeah, it's awesome to, to have you here. Someone is saying hello, Emily on the chat. Um, hi, Paola, great to have you. Great to have everyone here. Um, just as we wait for, for everyone to come in, um, please do feel free to interact on the chat. Um, we would love that. Tell us what your name is, where you're from, um, what you've been enjoying uh, during Expo Lingua so far. Um, wow, we have so many people from all over the world. This is awesome. Um, so great to, to have you here. Um, just make sure that when you write in the chat, please um, add to panelists and attendees. Uh, if you just select two panelists, I'm the only person who can see that. Um, and we would love your, your comments and your interactions to be visible for everybody. Um, yeah, so please keep on, keep on writing in the chat. Um, oh my goodness, this is overwhelming. Uh, so many people uh, from so many different places. So uh, yeah, we've got someone from Hamburg, someone from Berlin. So quite a few people from different cities around Germany. Uh, we also have someone from Buenos Aires in Argentina. Amazing. Uh, Netherlands, Paraguay, uh, another one from Germany, Brazil, Bangladesh. That's awesome. Uh, must be kind of late for you there. It's definitely evening in Bangladesh already. Um, so yeah, we're crossing multiple time zones here as well. Um, amazing. Someone from the US, definitely still morning in the US. So cool. Don't know which part of the US you're from, but maybe it's quite early with you. Uh, so yeah, thank you for, for coming um, and joining us today. Someone who's saying hello. Hello from Switzerland, I think. Chile as well, amazing. Guatemala. Another person from Argentina, cool. I've been to Argentina, a beautiful country, love it. Um, all right, so many people, awesome. So we've got 90 people already. Um, cool, so yeah, for those of you who've, who've just jumped on board, um, we're just introducing ourselves in the chat before we kick off, um, just saying where we're from, saying hi. Um, Feel free to uh, maybe pop in what, what you've enjoyed about Expo Lingua so far. Um, and yeah, just get ready to um, get your brain and gear ready for, for a quiz all about uh, languages, language trivia, um, maybe some idioms in there, um, some questions on different scripts. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll find out who uh, which one of you is the, the biggest polyglot and, and has the, the most language trivia knowledge. Um, and yeah, I mean, we have people from all over the globe. So we have all different languages represented um, and that's just really exciting. So uh, yeah, so so awesome to have you here and thank you for, for spending the next half an hour um, with me. Cool, so just before we kick off, um, let me just introduce myself. So my name is Emily. Uh, I am the Languages Manager at a language learning company called Utalk. Um, we have an app called uh, Utalk Learn Any Language, and um, you can learn currently 145 languages from this app. Um, so this is something that, that I really love. I love speaking different languages. I love learning different languages. I love meeting people from all different places. Um, and so I had a lot of fun putting this quiz together for you, and I'm really excited to, to share that with you. Um, brilliant. So yeah, welcome everybody. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, you can probably tell that I'm British, so I'm, I'm coming to you from London today. Um, as we know, we have people from every corner of the globe with us today. Um, so that's super exciting. Um, so yeah, we're going to kick off with this quiz in just a moment or two. Um, and before we do that, it would be great if you could grab another device. This will help you to answer the questions super speedy um, and you want to answer the questions super speedy 
uh, so that you have a higher chance of getting the top spots and winning some prizes. So I really recommend that if you don't have a device with you that's separate to the one that you're watching the Zoom call on at the moment, um, if you go and grab that now, that will help you. But if you don't have another device, that's okay. Uh, you can use just another browser to answer the questions and that is also okay. It might just not be quite as smooth for you. Brilliant. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, the quiz today is going to feature a variety of different language related questions, some trivia, um, some vocab, some cultural questions, geography, food, history, maybe even a false friend or two um, different ones in there. So yes, um, there's definitely going to be some challenging ones in there too. Um, oh, I just noticed in the chat, someone says, where are you from? I think, uh, Manuela, you, you're asking me where I'm from. So I'm from the south of England. Um, so yes, you might, some people might have been able to tell that from, from my accent. Um, so yeah, there we go. And um, before we kick off, I will just let you know what the prizes will be. So uh, our top prize, our top prize winner, they will get lifetime access to our app for all 145 languages that we have forever. So that's quite a good prize. Cool. And then we also have a prize for second place. Um, and this will be uh, our second place winner will win uh, access to five languages of their choice out of the 145 languages that we have. You'll have this for life as well. And then in third place, we also have a third place prize um, and that's access to one language also for life. Awesome. All right, so I think that we have everyone here now. So I think that without further ado, we should kick off. But we're going to kick off just with a warm up round to start off with. So this is just going to be six questions, just six questions, 20 seconds to answer each question. And this will get you nice and warmed up. You'll get to try out Kahoot, which is the platform that we're doing this quiz on. Um, and yeah, just to warm up, just for fun, no prizes for this first warm, warm up round, um, just to get your, your brains in gear. Um, so we'll do that first. And then after that, we'll do the official round, which will be 13 questions. So a bit more challenging. Um, and that is when you will be able to win or have a chance of winning a prize. Okay, awesome. So let me just share my screen. Give me one second to do that. Brilliant. Okay, here we go. So all you need to do is grab your device and go to kahoot.it and enter this pin that you see on the top of your screen there. Hopefully everyone can see it. So this is 456-2595. We've got lots of people coming in already. That's awesome. So I'll just give you that number again that you need to enter into Kahoot. So it's 456-2595. So for those of you who haven't used Kahoot before, the questions will pop up on this screen, on my screen that I'm sharing with you at the moment. And you will answer the questions which are color coded on your separate device that you're logging into Kahoot now. We've got almost 60 people logged in already. Um, we will wait a couple of minutes for everyone to enter as we have almost 100 people on the call. Um, so we're just expecting quite a few more people to just be entering this pin code into their device so we can get going with our warm up round. So, 72 people in now, more and more people coming. We've got Nina, Petra, Anke, Isabel, uh, Krista, Marion, Anika. We have someone called Asia. I don't know if this is a name or like, yeah, it's not one that I've heard before, but it's a cool name. I like that. So yeah, great to have you all on. We have Dudu. Don't know where you're from. Pretty sure that is not your real name, but maybe it is. Don't know. It's a cool name. <laughs> All right. So people are still coming in. So keep on coming in and um, feel free to write any comments that you have. 
in the chat, um, my colleague uh, Charlotte is on hand to help you out if you have any technical difficulties. So please, um, if you are having trouble logging in, then please do mention that um, and we'll see if we can help you uh, before we kick off. Okay, we're going to kick off in 30 seconds and counting so we can fit in all of our questions. Brilliant. Okay, so just remember that this is just the, the warm up round and there are no prizes for this warm up round of six questions, but there will be for the official round, which we will do after we've done this first warm up round. So you not only want to get the right answer, but you want to get the right answer the fastest. This will affect the number of points that you win as well. Okay, so I hope that it's clear how Kahoot works. You will see the questions on my screen. You will answer the color coded answer that you think it is that will appear on your separate device. Um, and that is how it works. But if you're still not 100% sure, don't worry. This is what the warm up round is for. It's going to give you a chance to try it out. Um, it doesn't count towards prizes, so you'll get a feel for it ready for the official round. Final thing before we kick off, please do not write the answers in the chat, otherwise other people will know the answers. And you don't want other people to know the answers because you want to get the right answer because you want to win the prizes. So please keep the answers to yourself um, and I will let you know what the answers are at the end of each question so we can learn a few new language related fun facts as well. Um, but please do keep interacting in the chat, keep uh, on feeling free to uh, tell people where you are or any fun language trivia that you find from this. Um, it's great to, to interact on the chat together in this way and um, that's what it's for. Okay, so without further ado, let's kick off our warm up round. Hope everybody is ready. Okay. So, warm up round starting in three, two, one, let's go. Okay, question number one. Where does the word Zen come from? Does it come from French, Japanese, Hindi, or Galanese? I think this is too easy for you guys. Um, yes, indeed, it is Japanese. Uh, and other words that we've borrowed from Japanese, at least in the English language, are futon, sudoku, and also tycoon. Let's see who got that one the fastest. So Isabella got that the fastest. Koshi followed by Jin Young and Valeria. Good job. Question number two. Where is Sinhala spoken? Cambodia, Senegal, Saudi Arabia, or Sri Lanka? Okay, another quite easy one. You guys are you guys are good. Um, so did you know that Sinhala is spoken by about 19 million people in Sri Lanka? That's a lot of people. Hopefully you're all getting the hang of using Kahoot. Uh, any technical difficulties, do you give us a shout in the chat and we'll see if we can help. Okay, next question, number three. Which one of these languages is not tonal? Chinese? Vietnamese, Igbo, or Tagalog. Good job. A lot of people said Igbo. Pretty sure that Igbo is a tonal language. Um, and did you know that about 1.5 billion people around the world speak a tonal language. Um, there are also pitch accent languages, 
that's a bit different. Um, but yeah, Tagalog is not a tonal language. Okay, the leaderboard is moving around a bit, but Jin Yong is still got the top spot for now at least. Question number four. How many official languages does the United Nations have? Okay, is it six, seven, two, or one? is six good job so a lot of you already know what these are but i will let you know just in case you missed out on that one so you have english french spanish arabic mandarin and russian cool okay so we have just two more questions for our warm-up round before we start the official round question number five which of these languages does not include A? Is it Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, or Czech? Good job, it is Italian. So I tried to catch some of you out there. Um, Italian has an A with a grab accent, but not with an acute accent like I have written here on this slide. Amazing. Okay, um, we have a new person on the top spot. That's Marion, closely followed by Sig. Okay, I've got a nice challenging question for you to finish up our warm up round. Question number six. What is the etymology of the word Arctic? Is it fair, reindeer, cold, or north? Good job. It is actually fair. And I'm, I'm really impressed by the number of people who got this. Um, so did you know that the word Arctic comes from the Greek word Artikos, um, which means bear or meant bear? Um, so yeah, this is the this is the etymology of the word Arctic. Awesome. Okay, let's see who got our top three for our warm-up round. So in third place we have Maria. Congratulations, Maria. Very impressive. Second place we have Chalo, good job Chalo. And in third place we have Good job, congratulations. Excellent. Okay, so as I mentioned, uh, no prizes for this warm-up round. This was just the warm-up. Now we're gonna do the proper official round, the, the round that's for real the round where we have prizes to be won. Amazing. Okay, um, just as I get up our official round, um, my colleague Charlotte has something to share in the chat. Um, this is a, a link where you can get a free trial um, to try out our app if you love languages, if you're enjoying the quiz and the different languages that we're talking about at the moment. Um, we think that you would really enjoy um, our app where you can learn uh, many different languages. We have 145 on there at the moment um, and you can actually learn uh, any of them from almost any of the languages that we have on offer there. So if you don't want to use English, then you don't have to use English at all. Um, so yeah, if my uh, colleague Charlotte could share that, um, there we go, brilliant. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Awesome. Okay, so uh, everyone get their device ready to go. If you could refresh your Kahoot.it browser, that would be great. So you'll want to refresh Kahoot.it and enter the pin which I will share with you in 
two seconds as soon as my internet loads, which is lagging a tiny bit, but it's all good, almost there. Super. Okay, so let me share this now. Here we go. Okay, so here's the new pin for this round. Five, nine, zero, eight, three, seven, four. We've got people coming in. Good stuff. Good job. Everyone's racing in. Excellent. Come in as fast as you can and we'll get the official round rolling in just a few seconds time. Okay, so we still have 20 seconds to answer each of these questions, but this time we have 13 questions in total. So a few more questions this time. Don't forget, the faster you answer the question, if it's correct, uh, the more points you will get. And what do points mean? Prizes. And prizes are up for grabs with this round. So you want to give this your all. And let's see who our top three and who our champion linguist is going to be for the day. The Expo Linguist Spring. 2021. Awesome. Okay, we have quite a few questions to get through. So without further ado, we're going to get this rolling in three, two, one. You know. Official quiz. Let's go. Question number one. How many official languages does Australia have? One, zero, two, or three? Yeah, that was a tough one. Um, so officially, Australia has zero uh, official languages, although we all know that many languages are spoken across Australia, uh, especially indigenous languages, in fact. Amazing. Clara knew that one. Good job, Clara. Okay. Question T. Which of these is not related to Bulgarian? Is it Serbian, Slovenian, Croatian, or Slovak? Low back, just the one. Good stuff. Okay, let's keep this moving. Question number three. What is noctophobia? Is it fear of night, fear of clouds, fear of snow, or fear of snakes? Fear of night, we can see the root, the Latin root knocked in there, can't we? Good job. Question four. Where does the word tulip come from? Dutch, Malay, Persian, or Maori? Interestingly, it is Persian, um, not Dutch, even though the flowers are very, very popular in Holland. Good stuff. Okay, next question, number five. In how many countries is French an official language? 18, 8, 29, or 32? nine countries. Very good. All 
great. Question six. Which country is known as Nancy in Polish? Is it Germany, Estonia, Argentina, or China? Right, it's Germany, where Expo Lingua would usually take place. Hopefully, later on this year or next year, we'll be back in Berlin. Okay, next question number seven. Where is Manx spoken? Isle of Man, Ireland, Wales, or the Channel Islands? indeed the Isle of Man, just off the coast of uh, uh, Toon Island and um, Britain. Good job. Okay, let's keep this going. So question number eight, which one of these words originates from Latin? Diction, Orange, or South Addiction. No movement on the leaderboard there. Okay, question nine. What script is this? Dunga, Cyrillic, Devanagari, or Italy? Job. It is Devanagari used to write Hindi and Sanskrit and I think a couple of others too. Okay, question 10. Chichewa is also known as Nyanja, Chichewa, Chichewa, or Chichewa. It has a few names, but Nyanja is the only one that is correct displayed on, on this page here, spoken in Malawi. Okay, question 11. How many languages does Google Translate currently support? 100, 143, 87, or 108? amazing 108 so far. Not quite as many languages as we have on our uTalk app yet though. We have 145. Okay, good job Anya on top there. Okay, we have two more questions left. Question 12. Which one of these words does not mean cloud? Adlot, Raj, Imra or Ray? That was a tough one. Um, so Adlo, it actually means sun in Cebuano, one of the languages of the Philippines. Most of spoken in Cebu. Good job. Okay, final question, number 13. How many words does Arabic have for the animal camel? 65, more than 100, 20 or less than 100? Apparently, they have more than 100 words for camels. Um, they also have tens of different words for sword, water, rain, and lion. 
Let's see the moment of truth. Here are our top three winners for Expo Lingua 2021 Spring Edition. Okay, in third place we have Philip. Congratulations, Philip. In second place we have Paddy Lou. Good job. And in the gold top spot we have Anya. Congratulations, Anya. Congratulations to our top three. Um, congratulations to, to everyone for um, giving it a good go. Those were not easy questions, so good job. And if you won a prize, please don't forget to email me at the site emily at utalk.com and I will be so delighted to um, send you your prizes your way. Um, so yeah, I hope you had fun. I hope you um, learned a few new things. I hope you enjoyed our, our quiz today. And um, if you like doing quizzes, please do follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, as we do run these kind of events. Um, so we would love you to follow us and um, take part in some other events that we do soon. Um, and if you missed out on a prize today, don't worry, you can actually still try out um, some of our app for free. My colleague Charlotte will just add a link in the chat there um, so that uh, you can try that out for free if you're interested in learning languages. We have an app called You Talk Learn Any Language for learning um, 145 languages at the moment and counting. So you're bound to find one that you are interested in learning some of. Um, we also have a prize draw, um, a raffle, so I think also my colleague Charlotte, she's put that in the chat. Um, please do enter our raffle to also be in the chance of winning um, our app access to all of the languages that we have for life. Um, that is one that you um, can't miss out on. So yeah, uh, it, was, it was great to spend this afternoon with you and um, really hope that you enjoy the rest of your time at Expo Lingua. Um, thank you so much for the great comments. Super to have you and um, see you again soon. Thank you.